Hello, everybody. Here, hold on. Let me change the, uh, let's change this camera. <clears throat> Hello. Uh, thanks for tuning in to this live stream of me essentially just sketching uh, a design that I want to make of a wooden toy camera. Um, so uh, <clears throat> that's what I'll be doing. Uh, for Christmas, I want to give my one-year-old daughter, Dylan, a toy camera. Uh, and I want to fasten it after the uh, Fujifilm X100 line cameras. They're my favorite cameras. Uh, I've had the Fujifilm X100T, and then I bought the F a couple years ago when it came out. And I just love these cameras, and it means a lot to me. So I want to create a uh, toy camera that my daughter can play with and move the stick, the like analog. Um, control mechanisms around and compress the shutter dial and all that stuff. So that's what I'm doing. I plan on building it this weekend. I'll be making a video about it. Uh, but before I do any of that, I need to come up with a design for what it's going to look like. And I've waited to do that. I haven't touched it. I've wanted to sketch it a million times. Uh, so that's what we're going to do on this stream. So I hope you enjoy. Uh, feel free to comment, whatever. I'll try to be, I'll be looking at like the uh, comments periodically as I sketch. Um, let's see here, uh, there we go, all right, so, let's see here, da 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 da, free page, there we go, uh, let's see, okay, first off, I wonder if the audio is any good, um, let's see, okay, should be good. Ooh, I gotta get this, the, like, the part of me that's, like, this OC, uh, OCD really wants this to, like, look super nice. Anyway, not important. Um, <clears throat> all right, so, looking at this camera, let's, I'm just gonna do some basic sketches first, so I know, maybe a square, I know for sure what I want is, uh, so I wanted to use two pieces of wood, maybe three different pieces of wood to get like this dual tone look. You can see we have like the, the metal part of the body and then like the leather wrap. And actually this is, if you're a Fuji fan, this is a uh, fake leather, pleather. Um, but so I want like a darker wood here and then lighter wood on the top and bottom. And so practically what I'll do is I'll, I'll um, you know, I'll make if this is like the sheets of wood, right? Um, I'll make sure I get like the uh, the depth correct, make a block, and then, so like you can see, like this is like the, the darker wood um, and the lighter wood. So I'll have this, glue these together, and then from there, that's how I'd like actually carve out uh, what I want the camera to look like. Um, to make it one piece. So I need to use hardwoods. I asked a couple friends, or I asked a friend uh, who's really good at um, uh, woodworking, like what I should do, especially if my daughter's gonna be having it because she'll be chewing on it and stuff. Uh, <clears throat> hardwood's the way I'm gonna go. Uh, I think walnut is going to be the primary wood for like the, the main body. Uh, and then I'm not for sure what I'm gonna do in the top and bottom. But basically I know that I want the top and bottom to be lighter and the middle to be darker. Uh, ideally, I'd have a third kind of like a uh, highlights uh, wood that I could use for like the buttons, uh, like the dials, the the aperture ring that's going to be on the camera. Um, and if I get really fancy, I might even try to make a. Um, I'm gonna. I know I want to make this like a fasten this out of like an S. Uh, make it look like a uh, rangefinder camera, which means it's like this thing is right here and not right there above the lens. Um, I want to make it look like a mini rangefinder camera, uh, and maybe that means just like cutting out a hole to be able to look through it, or maybe that means cutting out a hole and then pouring resin in it to make it have like, give it kind of like the illusion of having like some kind of optics in there. That might be fun. It might be overkill. I'm not for sure. Um, but yeah, so that is what I'm doing. No, I'm not 3D printing. All right, I'm just going to look at the comments real fast. Hey, Alimation Productions, what's up? Hello, Ed. Uh, 3D printing? No. No 3D printing, just building a wooden uh, camera. 
Yeah. Slee, what's up, man? All right, so <clears throat> let's just do some immediate sketch. Just some, like, I know for sure that I'm going to have it, like, multi, multi-tone. We're going to have a big lens-looking element here. Uh, I know we're going to have a fun dial. That's probably held on by like a little wooden dowel. Uh, and then we're also going to have a shutter button that's really pleasing to push down. Uh, and then we're also going to have something to look through. And we also might have, uh, I don't know, maybe a, a place to put a button to put buttons here so that way if I want to later put like a little uh, like a little uh, strap like a camera strap we could do that too um, probably want to make the, the camera strap like a really not an actual camera strap probably like one of those where it's like cut right there and then you just stick the uh, little wooden these little wooden pieces through so it'd be easy to get on and off because maybe we don't want her having a camera strap so she doesn't choke herself. Okay, um, I also like the idea of having a some kind of like little dial here. Again, we're trying to make this look very inspired by the X100 series cameras. Uh, and there's also like a little clicky dial here. So, and also for a one-year-old, for a one-year-old, a lot of like the little clicks, the movements, the ups and downs and twisty turnies, uh, that's very pleasing. So <clears throat> I'm gonna try to make this as uh, tangible as possible for a one-year-old, uh, but also look good. I want it to look good too. Okay, so let's see. Um, looking at this camera, there is, this, there's a depression on the, on the side of it. That's a big feature. Big features are it's basically a rectangle. There is a depression that goes down on the half of it. Uh, we got a big rangefinder style view. Uh, and that would probably be the big things. So this is a good start. Let's see if we can like hone in a little bit more on what it is that I actually like about that. So if we're let's say we got let's say if we have it make it go up a little. I'm gonna have to have soft edges. I might even try to like make it hollow or at least have a part of it that's hollow to uh so it makes a sound if she say it shakes it, you know. Maybe it's a broken sensor or broken glass. Ooh, that's kind of ugly. Um, yipers, cripers. Okay, that's okay. The idea is that we have this big viewfinder that it's fun to look through. And then we know we want a big little blocky len like lens that will s jut out from the body. Um, and... We know we want, I think, as many dials as possible. It was fun. So we can let's go with two dials. And then this one will have will be placed in like a dowel and I can maybe like make the edges riveted a little bit or ridged so it feels good to like turn. Uh, and maybe this is where maybe we just have a big a big button that presses down like that and that can be painted red. Okay, so we're on to something, and then we're gonna have... Okay, so we're on to something. Now, this will all be... This will be one piece. Then we're gonna have the bottom. It's another. Um, Okay. Let's see. 
Um, do, 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 do. I do like the idea of having a little clicky, clicky thing here. So just honing in on design stuff. So maybe it doesn't actually move, <clears throat> but maybe it, maybe it just stays there. And definitely having the the little dowels sticking out here. For a strap. So this would actually go. We probably need to make this go down deep and then have a spring in here. This is going to go for looking into it right there. Um, I might try to make okay it's coming to me now what I what I kinda want um, okay I'm, I think I'm figuring this out okay basic design right there is that cool enough? Is that fun for the kiddo? And then maybe on the inside, inside I will make this a cavernous area with little wooden blocks. So as she picks it up and moves it around, uh, it makes noise, so that's kind of like a rattle. Okay, I think that's doable. I think that's really doable. Let's 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 make this. Let's flesh this out a little bit more. Um, let's see here. Put this right there. Okay. So, hold on, dude. I will say, uh, using this multi-tool to sharpen a pencil is really satisfying. I'm just gonna take my time with it. Okay. Um, so let's do a, let's do this. Okay, it'll make sense what I'm doing momentarily. Okay. Um, so basically I am... Let's see here.
So trying to get like a side view, a bottom view, a top view, all that jazz that are all proportional with each other. Um, oh, you know what I screwed up? I did not leave room for, uh, I did not leave room for the place where, the sh where like the straps are gonna go. Not a huge deal, but kind of annoying. Um, okay, uh, basically, how big do we want this? Do we want this? Uh, how big do we want the uh, lens to look? I'm thinking pretty big, kind of cartoony big. Not so much cartoony, I guess. Doesn't mean it's cartoony. There's plenty of cameras with this big of a lens. Um, and my thought is that we would have one ring to rule them all. <coughs> So a pretty bulky uh, um, pretty bulky ring that would extend on it. And uh, it's probably going to be we'll say it goes like right there. Maybe painted blind, 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 We might have lost something. One second.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, all right. Yes, I am making cameras, making things with cameras. All right. So where were we? Um, yeesh, yeesh, yeesh. Um, right here. We need to go. And you look at the top of it. Probably gonna look like, what is that? That's gonna be what? Wait, 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 I screwed that up. <laughs> also, for anybody watching, I am not an artist. I am... I am not an artist. Uh, I do enjoy drawing, but goodness gracious, don't. I do not presume to be good at this. This is just sketches to help me know exactly what it is I need to be making. Uh, and once I see it, I can. Once I see it on a page, I can know that it's like, okay, this is good. This is bad. This will work. This won't work. Um, all right, there we go. there's that. Um, and now, am I crazy? I am crazy. No, it's gonna be blocky. That's right. That's okay. That's okay. This is probably not. This is probably doesn't need to be as thick. Commander Wyatt, hey, I'm looking at your, is that a Boba Fett hairdo? I can't tell. It's kind of cool. Speaking of Boba Fett and Star Wars and Bounty Hunters, I'm currently working on, not currently, not at the moment, but I am working on a, uh, a, um, new stop motion video that I think will be a ton of fun. And, uh, and I'm using the, uh, I'm using the Mandalorian character and setting as for, like primary inspiration. I think that's what we're going with right there. So if we go all the way down with it. So we're gonna go whoop. And we're gonna go whoop, 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 whoop. And this, I want this to be a little bit not super smooth. Let's 
to be painted black. Hmm, is that how are we looking? Do I like this? Then we got the square button right there. Do I want a square or do I want a circle? I think I want to. Probably want a circle, but I want it to be a peg. So it'll be. All right, all right. Digging that. Okay, now uh, what else am I missing here? Looking at this guy. Okay, I think we're good there for the most part. This will be a cool place to maybe laser engrave Dylan's name. That could be fun. Like in the same way that it's kind of like right there. No. I'll have to get my friend to design something that looks kind of cool. Dylan, and then maybe, I don't know. Uh, ooh. That'd be cool. Ooh, X. Ooh, no, I should have the uh, 1420. Let's not do that. Xmas. Nineteen. There we go. I don't know what we do there. Okay. Let's see. What else? How do we do this? But it looks good. All right, so what? what's not looking good yet? Yet. Mind you. So that'll be... Uh, Certain type of wood right there.
Okay, let's see here. Is he, he's not going back to New York like permanently. So somebody on the stream just said, did you see Casey Neistat is going back to New York? And so unless I, I have not watched his very last video, but the video before that was titled, I'm going back to New York. And I think he just meant for like a trip. He's not like going back, going back. Maybe I'm wrong though. Am I wrong? Cool story. I got to I got to hang out with Casey Neistat for a quick minute. He was a speaker at OU a year and a half ago. Maybe it was just last year. I don't know. Um, and uh, being on OU's marketing team, I was able to finagle a way to kind of vlog, do a little mini vlog with him, which is kind of cool. Ended up never using any of the footage, which is sad, but such is life. Okay, let's see here. So actual size of this thing, how how big would we want this to be? She's holding it. We want. I'm thinking like this big. I'm thinking like. I'm thinking like. Brr, hold on. Let's. Thinking like from here. That's pretty good, right? What is that? Three inches? Three inches on one side. To what about like what? Right there. I want it to be kind of blocky esque. To about three and a half inches. What that's ooh, that's let's just say it's four and a half. That's fair enough. Something about that don't look right, but that's okay. But that's okay. And then I wonder if I have a circle, circular thing. One second. Okay, I'm back. Did you, uh, yeah, he just went back for a trip, but clickbait got me. Dude, Casey is the master at clickbait, that's for sure. He's the master of clickbait. All right, I also got to figure out exactly how... Uh, 
kind of becoming a small hole, isn't it? <laughs> okay. that to be kind of like right there is this too small I mean like it's actually about like the size of it okay this is gonna be just the lens element I think right there's good looking better now that I actually get some appropriate proportions to everything. Just a really small. I like this. So if I'm looking, oh no. Interesting. Why is this? One second, you guys. Let's see here. Let's see if this works. Uh, I don't know what the deal is. My, uh, my OBS stuff is messing up. It's not good. Hmm. Two cam. Weird. One second. Let's see here. We're back. Sorry about that. I don't know what the deal is. I'm I'm st I'm still figuring out OBS. So OBS is the software that I use to stream uh, on YouTube. So hey, thanks. All right, Guinea Pig Love. Very interesting name, but thank you for your kind co comments. Um, okay. So when it comes to inspiration. What I like about this camera, I dig that there's like this line of metal that's at the top as well. So that's what I'm trying to uh, replicate here, to a certain degree. Let's see here. 
You know what? I haven't even designed the back of it. That's okay. And then we're going to do a button right here. And I think I'm going to add something like this little control dial right here. I dig that and I want to add it. So the way I'm going to do that is is by cutting out Ooh, that's going to be hard, dude. How am I actually going to do that? Huh. Let's see here. It can be done, because these are three separate pieces of wood. Um, ooh, that's adding a lot to it. I, but it would be kind of cool if like right here, there was like another dial. Hmm. So what I'm thinking right now is that I want to add this dial right here in the body. So if we look at the other drawing, this would stick out. There would be this little hole, and then literally like it would stick out like right there. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, practically how I would do that is this piece would be, right, you're looking at it. This is that top piece of wood. You do this, and then I'd have to cut it like so to where I could put that little dowel inside there. Yeah, and it would be another piece. Like a little gear. Ooh, what if. Did I just have an idea? No, that wouldn't work. Wait, would it work? No, would it work? Ooh, 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 I have an idea. I have an idea. That's what that'll be. All right, that's the idea. That's what's up. Easy, dude. Easy. I know what's up. Trying to use like heavy lines and stuff to show that this is going to be an open part of the body. Yes! And then guess what? The thing that this piece right here will be can rotate so this won't go up or down but it'll be when this spins this will spin too that'll be kind of fun 
And this piece. That's what's up. That's what's up. Get it now. All right. Making progress here. That's good. Okay. So do you see what I'm doing here? I'm going to grab this uh, other piece of paper. So this piece right here is going to be separately. It'll look like this is a, re this is a really rough sketch of it, but kind of blown up. Oh, my God. That's way too big. Jesus. All right. So... Right. So uh, let's do. If you're looking at it, okay. How was that? How do we want to do that? Okay, that's what's up. Okay, sorry. Just having to figure out exactly how I was going to... Ah, shoot. Okay, so actually it'll be probably like... Not all the way. Dude, I'm, I'm freaking out here. <laughs> what the hell? I, this screwed me up, damn it. Ah, I've really effed this up. Yipers, cripers. Okay, don't, don't, uh, don't look at that. Let's try to show an example of, like what this piece by itself would look like. Like right here, I'm not gonna. If we look, yeah, okay. So if we're looking at this like from the bottom up, okay, it's one piece like this, eh? But the bottom of it would be with the hole. That's right. That's right. Okay, this is correct. So this is what this piece looks like. If you were to like just this piece and look at the bottom of it, uh, because this part right here, you would stick this little gear with the dowel sticking in it uh, through it, and it would press. It would be going up. So this is again, this is looking at just this top piece because again, keep in mind, this is one piece, this is another, this is another uh, because I want it to be different pieces of wood. Um, so three separate pieces of wood, ideally dark and then lighter to kind of replicate this guy right there. Um, so uh, um, Oh, Slee so asked if I did anything with the camera delay. No, the reason it's matched is because it's only not matched whenever it goes through Dragon Frame, uh, which for anybody watching is the software that I use when I animate uh, stop motion stuff, which is mostly what my channel is, uh, that and uh, Fuji stuff. Um, so anyway, whenever I use that, it, it's that. So I'm not using Dragon Frame right now, which is why it's not delayed any. All right, so where was I at? What was I doing? Yes, yes, yes. So this right there, and then if you were to be kind of looking at the inside of it, it's going to have that that gear that kind of juts out a little bit. This is terrible scale, obviously, um, which means this one will actually, if I were to make it, if I were to change it, this is going to probably have to go. Obviously, this is not to scale. This is not to scale. Uh, this button is actually going to have to go like right here because inside of it there's going to be the gear that it's connected to so that way you can just like this do that with it making sense? making sense to me it's all that really matters because I'm the one making it um, okay so that's good that's helpful that's helpful helpful for me to get a better grasp of what's going on here. So, this is looking good. Um, that's looking good. Good, good, good. Um, am I wanting to add anything else? No, this is, the way that this is gonna work, we'll get to that later. Let me go ahead and kinda like, draw this piece in. 
making sure that this is how I want it. So again, darker piece of wood right here. This is one of my favorite songs in the uh, Breath of the Wild. It's at the, uh, I don't know if you can hear it. It's probably not a good, <laughs> it's probably not a good audio for a live stream. Um, but it is a uh, song that comes up when you're at, is it Hatino Fishing Village? Is that it? No, Hatino. I can't remember what the, vi the village is. You'd think I know since I spent 70 hours making a map of it. But uh, but I don't. Okay. That's looking good. I wonder, the only thing is, is if this is too small. And I don't think it's too small. Um, we're going to say that this is... I think it's fair if we make that a... Yeah. Do we make that just a half inch? That's, that's pretty thick. I probably have to go from it. Okay, so the challenge with this project that I'm sure you'll see as I, uh, as I actually make it uh, over the week is I'm gonna need to be pretty precise when I'm cutting stuff. I'll definitely wanna save, like sand everything down. Um, once I glue the, the primary three pieces together, but this layer right here is pretty thin, so I don't have a lot of margin for error as far as sanding. I mean, it should be fine, but but yeah. Um, this guy right here, I'm not super pumped about this, so the way I'm gonna, I plan on doing this is in this solid body, probably having another, it's probably gonna be looking like this. Here, I'll, I'll kind of draw what I think it'll look like. So it kind of has this curve to it. It'll have this curve to it. And then I'll probably just have a thick dowel rod that goes into the body with another piece of wood attached to it to keep it from falling off which I just now which just now so drawing this out was good because let's say this is all one piece it doesn't actually have to be one piece it'll be three pieces glued together but in order for that to work wait you know what never mind I take it back totally take it back I was gonna say this needs to be there needs to be a hollow part in here for this to go but this doesn't need to spin this is presumably what is representing the glass of the camera, that piece. Um, this just needs to stay there. So what will happen is on this piece, I will just have the camera body and I'll just drill a hole and then I'll glue the dowel rod into the hole that I drill and make it a snug fit. But around this, Sorry, this should actually go. This should actually go deeper. Like that. But around this will be um, will be a oh my lord. That's uh oh, time time to do the fun part. Around that will be the uh, lens ring. I guess is what I'm gonna call it. Aperture ring, maybe. I don't know if Dylan's gonna care of the. I don't know if Dylan's gonna care if I what I call it. Um, 
So this will spin freely. That will spin freely. And maybe I'll maybe on the inside of it I'll I'll make some like I don't know, something to make it to where it clicks or something. I don't know how I'd do that yet. I'll have to ask my dad on that one. Um but that's what this is, so That's what that is. Uh, and this is the camera body. So it's kind of a macro shot of. The camera body. Zoomed in shot, not macro. Okay. Okay, what else? On the... Okay, so I dig this. I think this is good. Let's do some measuring. We're gonna say... Four and a half. That's just straight up. No, that's like it's just three, right? And then how far this goes? It's going to be two and a quarter. And that's just the difference, depending on the slope and stuff. Uh, let's see here. This ring. Two and a quarter. Is that right? One, two and a quarter. A diameter. Two five. Diameter. Right. And then that is we could probably just make that one, two, two and three quarters. Uh, lens. The ring. The ring itself will be, I mean, two and three quarters. I know there's got to be a sign for diameter. Not for sure what it is, though. One second, everybody. I'll be right back.
Okay, so I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, so I'm pretty satisfied with this. I guess oh, there's one more thing I guess I need to do as far as measuring stuff, which is I need to make this. This needs to be, let's see here. Um, this is going under. It actually should probably be deeper, so... I don't know, probably what? What was that? A half an inch? I mean, you could go ahead and make it three quarters of an inch. That's good. I guess I should figure out this. Uh, let's make that a and then this needs to be. Is an inch straight up an inch. Okay, that peg needs to be, let's say, an inch. Uh, so dial one inch that's gonna be I mean that needs to be what Half an inch. Half an inch. Okay. I think I got all the measurements necessary. Uh, for the most part, I think. Um, that's total three inches, but we gotta make that, that's gonna be two inches. There we go. All right, should be good. So this is the design right there. Not too bad, I think I'm okay with that. Let's do this again. Dino Zone, what's up, dude? So I'm making this camera right there, and we have, I'm gonna try to make those specs again real fast. What is that, three inches I said? So we got three inches. I wonder if I just did it like that, that'd be easy. Three inches, then we got, what is that? Four and a half inches. Ish. If 
This is just rough. Just rough is all. That's three and a half, I know. Oh wait, actually, but I'm looking at it on the other side. God dang it. That's right. This is from the other view. This is the back view that I'm doing. I did a poor job of this. Gotta be a good way to sharpen a pencil. And this is not that way. It's okay though. It's gonna be okay. <gasps> yeah, that's right. Oops, yep, that's what's up. I totally bombed that. Okay, so the back side of it. Let's see, let's get some inspiration here. Back side of this. Ooh, I don't know if you can see that very well. So, let's see here. Very, pretty small. Pretty small little viewfinder we agreed on earlier. Okay, so you'll be able to look through this. Cool. What is that? How deep is that? Is that? What is that? I'm trying to think. Looks like. I don't know. If I say one and a quarter. One and a quarter. So we're going to say that's about what's up. Looks that's about what's up. Okay. Um, so we have this as a back. There's, our, there's plenty of opportunity. What could I do back here? There's a lot that I could do back here. Hmm. I don't know. So looking at this, we're going to have All right, then we're going to have this button. Um I don't know, man. What am I going to do? I don't know. What is it that I want? Hmm. You know, the Fuji X Pro 3 just came out, and it has a really cool uh, screen right here that just shows, like, the film simulation, like, or at least the art for what the the uh, the film is emulating. That could be kind of cool. Hmm. Inspiration. Do I want anything on the back of it? Do I want buttons? Do I want... I don't think so. I feel like just leaving it as is 
is okay. Maybe making a, you know what? I think what I'll do is I'll glue a, hmm, hold on. Maybe, <laughs> gluing a thin, thin piece of wood. That's square, as if to be either a screen or a cartridge, or a place to put your film cartridge uh, stuff. Maybe that's what I'll do. And this would be entirely black. And you know what? I think that's. I think I have the idea. So this, my friends. That's what this is. All right, this is going to be this is going to be wood X, whatever that is. So we have the we're going to have the light wood, light wood, dark wood. And if you look here, this wood is darker. Separate piece, mind you. Uh, and this color wood will be the same wood as some of the uh, X wood. I'm saying X wood. I'm saying X wood because I don't really know what the uh, wood is that I'm going to use, other than the light wood and the dark wood. The X wood will be for like highlights, so all the buttons, uh, probably the buttons, and the back of this right here, uh, and maybe the analog ring, or the analog ring, the aperture ring, uh, maybe that'll be X wood. So let me hold on. We're gonna we're gonna. I'll be right back. Okay, so to get a better idea of what this might look like and help me figure out what I want to do where, I've got three different colors of uh, pencil. I'm going to see what... Hold on, let's do it. Let's do it like right here. Okay, there's one, two... Oh, you know what? None of those are actually. I need like a yellow. I need like a yellow in order to really get the uh, vibe that I'm going for for one of the pieces of, one of the pieces of wood. Alright, this should work. Let's try this. There we go. So light wood is going to be this color. It's like the same, dude. Not that guy. Oh, these are like the same. I need the, I need more dra I need more drastic difference. Hold on. That's green. Yiper scrapers. 
Okay, so you know what? Why don't we just do... We'll do one like that. Okay, so... The light color wood, kind of representing the metal. Just quickly here. Really quickly. Okay. And then we're going to have one of these be the dark color wood. You know what, and just for giggles, I know it's green, but they have green wood. There's all kinds of different colors of wood. And this is a little one-year-old's Christmas present. It's not a big deal if things are a little bit cartoony. So thinking something like that and this X wood, which is what this color will be, uh, will be like the highlighted parts. Like if I want to like kind of accent stuff. So again, let's see here. We're gonna have if I were to do the same thing here. Um, So again, the primary main block of wood, lighter than the rest. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and this one brown because we know that that's what this body is going to be. And then, what did I say earlier? Yeah, all right, so this would be brown. Uh, what I make, so I'm out of, I'm out of, I know this would be X wood. I hear this dowel, just for variety. Yeah, here's what we're gonna do. Dude, I'm digging it, this is gonna be cool. This is gonna be a fun build, not gonna lie. And then we're going to make the aperture ring X wood as well. I kind of don't even mind like the the way that it's all like looking as far as like this color scheme. I wonder if I can find a bluish green wood. That's a hardwood. I have to go up to uh, the nearest place to buy wood. Well, to buy small amounts of wood that they can cut so I don't have a spend an exuberant, exuberant amount of money uh, is all the way up by Lake Hefner and I live in Norman Oklahoma and that's like an hour drive so I'm gonna one one evening this week I have to go and buy this wood um, oh this is gonna be so cute though so cute um, super cute I dig it I dig it um, and then this right here Boom. 
painted black. I think this whole thing will actually be best black. Oh, amazing, but it's a one-year-old toy. You don't want it black. Whatever. You need contrast sometimes. And I can even paint the inside walls of this. I can paint that black too. And that'll give it some that'll give it something special. That'll be cool. I dig it. Alright. So I think that's that's kind of it. Hold on, let's get this out of here. I'm gonna look at kind of like where what we've made here. I think this is kind of what's uh, where we're at. Pretty cool. Um, as far as thickness goes, I kind of should measure that. If it's this big, I'm thinking like not a not a straight up block, but a pretty good, a pretty decent size. So if it's like I'm thinking like inch and a half, maybe. I don't know. I'm thinking two inches, dude. Two and a half inches width. Okay, um, let's see here, I think that's, I think that's good, am I missing anything here? It seems like right here there's opportunity to have some buttons, so what I might do is, I think I'm going to add something. Maybe just something that I would glue. And these are just like little pieces, like literally like little pieces. I'd probably just chop a dap, you know, cut up a dowel rod. Um, and then make a little ABXY. Out of the X wood. Like that might be cute. Hmm. I dig it. I dig it. I think that's what we're gonna go with. 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 Interesting. There we go. All right, so we're back. Sorry about that. Man, the stream. It's had a lot of technical difficulties. Sorry. Uh, Mr. Potato, I'm glad that you think it looks good. You came right in the nick of time before I stopped the stream. So this is what it's going to look like, inspired by the Fujifilm X100 line series uh, for my daughter, who will be turning one year old around Christmas time. Uh, big question is, for anybody who watches this and uh, watches this all the way to the end, help me name this camera. Uh, at some point I want to, uh, I want to, um, at the top of this camera, like right here, you can see this is the, that's like the top of it, essentially where this is, I want to laser engrave something. So I don't know if that's putting her name on there or um, I don't know, something, I want to do something fun and quirky. Uh, maybe it's just to Dylan from Dad or something, one year old and the date. I don't know what it'll be. Um, anyway, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, I'll see you later.